Hey everyone, welcome back to what may be the beginning of the end of Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Um, we are just a few days away in the timeline from finishing the Purification Ritual, or the Purgation Ritual, which will hopefully lead us to the final battle. Um, I'm not sure how crazy the final battle is going to be, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's very likely I will have to split it up if it is kind of nuts. In the meantime, I'm just kind of wandering around. Uh, I can't make it to any other missions in time, but stuff could pop up. So I'm just going to kind of wander over here, I guess, and we'll sort of see what happens. I can't make it up there. The other missions are way out over in that area. Um, we're in pretty good shape. Everyone's leveled up. Our gear's all leveled up. Assad's out for one more day. Malchus is out, but we wouldn't be taking him in the final mission anyway. So yeah, I think we're okay. Let's see how time ticks down. So I may just kind of hang out here. Three, two, all right. Two days, <laughs> two days to go. Right, yeah, so everybody is in decent shape. We kind of know who we want to take. We're kind of prepared for a demon, uh, like a greater demon. What's going on up here? Is that just the warp storm? I guess that's just the warp storm. We've got kind of a big mess up here because there is a planet that's maxed out on chaotic corruption. I think it's just that one. Yeah, I was trying to keep everything under control. We didn't blow up any planets, so we're mostly doing all right. Uh, yeah, I think we just advanced time and uh, let the cutscene load. Hopefully. <laughs> Please load. I repeat again. Please load. <laughs> they usually take a while. Um, but yeah, we did have an issue with uh, one of them loading not too long ago. The game kind of froze which was a bummer, and then I think I'm pretty sure we missed out on the cutscene, it just didn't load it. The edict rides beneath this pressure we cannot hold. We must. The ritual is nearly complete. Embrace the grandfather's wisdom, Carver. You see it? We are one. And so forever we shall remain. Cadex Ilkarian of Sistemonius. I give myself to you willingly. Take my spirit. We're clear. Um, I don't think that was supposed to happen. You were right to doubt me, Ektar. A demon's essence cannot be tracked past the veil, but mine is now bound to his. I will blaze a path for you to follow. You sacrifice yourself. You are doomed to an eternity of torment. I doomed myself the moment I set foot on this ship. Now, the, the grandfather, grandfather calls. I must answer. I am his. Question is, can I trust you? Commander, the Brother Purifier has begun transmitting a signal to our astral paths. We must follow it at once.
I kind of thought she might get taken over and then that she would spawn uh, Mortarius. Or Mortarian. Like, confusing myself here. Mortarian, right? Follow the Vakir's signal. Find Kaldor Drago. Well, maybe, maybe we'll have multiple steps in this. Inquisitor Vakir has sacrificed herself and bound her spirit to Cadex in the Purgation Ritual. Brother Ektar is now physically tracking what remains of her spirit as it returns to Nurgle's garden. We will pursue the signal into the depths of hell to find Kaldor Drago and hopefully destroy the roots of the bloom. What the heck? What is going on? I have no idea what's happening. Okay, I don't know what was all that. What was the point of that? Just go to this cutscene instead. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Commander, we have pursued the signal for weeks. The edict strains, but the brother purifier appears far. The Edex warp drives have completely stalled. It is no matter. Our journey is at an end. Data insufficient. Have we reached the garden? No. But we are met by its gatekeeper. What do you see? We are drawn into the orbit of a transient domain. It radiates with the energy of a prime seed. Credibility dubious. There is little sense within the realms of chaos. Two Reapers of the Bloom remained free of our pursuit. Why risk one against us now? Cadex must have reached his master and given warning. They delay us to pursue more valuable prey. Drago. Commander, it is time to prove ourselves worthy of our name. Very cool imagery there. Okay, Commander, we believe we've reached Nurgle's Garden, but it appears that the domain of Cruciatus, one of the two remaining Reapers of the Bloom, has locked the Baleful Edict into its cursed orbit. We must send a squad to fight this Reaper and destroy it so we can pass into Nurgle's Garden and locate Drago, destroy the Reaper. Okay. I am Analysis. fine with that. We face the Reaper of the Dolorous Strain. A corrupted Imperial Knight and dealer of pain and agony. This corrupted soul was noble once. Perhaps we can exploit his human weaknesses. Okay, uh, yeah, no more stratagems because we don't have an Inquisitor, so that's a bit of an issue. Right, so... There is no save at this point, it seems like. Yeah, I can't exit out. All right, let's go ahead and switch out who we want. I'm assuming you're going to be a greater demon, like all the other Reapers. So we're going to go with our standard group, which is uh, Iolanthus, wherever Iolanthus is. Am I just overlooking Iolanthus? Iolanthus. We've got the Demon Flare on him, so he's here to buff, give us additional actions, and stab demons in the face. That's kind of his job. Next, we're going to have Kalmar. So Kalmar being my Kalmar. main librarian. Um, his gun does extra damage against demons, not that that's a huge deal, but it does help a little bit. I'm mainly here for psychic assistance, keeping the warp surge under control. Uh, Harn for healing, and then we're going to bring in Zabez, which even more healing, but also he's got a weapon that's uh, doing extra damage to demons. Where's Zabez? There's Zabez. Zabez. So yeah, plus four damage against demonic. Uh, I think it's... Plus 40% crit versus demonic, plus 4 damage. We've got extra ammo on it. We've got support fire, I think, right? Yeah, two uses of support fire. 
All right, so this is kind of our anti-demon squad we've taken out before. So yeah, it's kind of cool. We're actually going to fight one of the other Reapers. Maybe we have to fight both. Uh, I'm not sure. So that would be multiple different missions. So it's not actually like one then. Maybe it's like three separate final missions. So once we get down, I just need to remember to save it once we're on the planet side. We're fighting a knight. Yeah, it was kind of like, uh, do you mean like a knight as in like soldier? No, he means a knight as in the giant walking uh, mini titans. <laughs> Wonderful. Hopefully it still counts as demonic. Um, it would be interesting if it counts as both mechanical and demonic, but it might be either or rather than both. But uh, yeah, if it's demonic, I think we're okay. If not, and it's strictly mechanical, we can try to take out its weapons temporarily with Kalmar and kind of go from there. It's too bad not having the stratagems either, because that helped us out a lot in dealing with the other ones. So we might have the two uh, Reapers that are left without stratagems, then maybe the final battle. Or maybe it's going to throw me from like one to the next to the next like immediately. I was kind of saying early on in the campaign that I really wanted to fight all of the uh, Reapers, so it's kind of cool that we maybe we get to at least one more here. So I'm actually kind of happy about that. Um, instead of just being thrown right into the final fight, because like, all the other Reapers had kind of interesting mechanics, were kind of interesting to fight. We had to do something slightly different for each one, so uh, yeah, we'll see what we have to do here. So right there. I sense a putrid decay in the war. Knights of Titan! I, Cruciatus, am known to my cohort as the Generous. For it is through my will that the healing gift of pain should be shared in the Grandfather's name. <laughs> it is a noble goal, is it not? Brothers, do not deign to answer his blasphemy. Our duty is not to bandy in words. Will you not parley? Introduce yourselves. Night classification. Desecrator. Its firepower is beyond. Beyond our capabilities, Commander. I recommend we reconsider our approach and... Retreat? <laughs> I thought your type knew no fear. An empty platitude, it would seem. Warp surge. Interferences. <laughs> Retreat would be dishonorable. Besides, I have long awaited the day when I might truly be challenged. Come at me, Knights of the Titan. I promise your end will not be swift. Okay, he doesn't have a ton of health at 55. I'm trying to get information on him, but it's not letting me uh, analyze him. So normally you can kind of middle mouse click and get information on him. Maybe I have to be closer, I'm not sure. Uh, can I just do it here? Just as Cruciatus. All right, wonderful. All right, let's uh, drop a save and see how this goes. Uh, what's my list one? So I can't change, that's fine. Okay, I mean, there is something I can blow up next to him, and maybe I... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if it's sort of like, it wants me to lead him to there, blow that up, lead him to here, attack this and hit him with it, uh, lead him through a maze, and then blow stuff up in his face, but... I don't know if I can actually... Maybe I can't even hurt him, normally? I'm not sure. I am here to serve. I'm curious to see if I can shut down his ranged weapons with the Vortex of Doom. Taking position. I don't know if that's close enough. Let me take a look. Yeah, I can hit him with it. If I warp charge it, like it says, disable the ranged mechanical targets. Let me see if that'll do anything. 
Yeah, that did damage. Um, I don't know if it actually disabled. I still can't look at him in detail. So I don't know if that actually disabled, but he does have some kind of negative status effect on him at the moment. Your orders. What is your will? So I might want to get, like, Zabez up in position. On my way! Freaking support fire. Oh no, that's his shields. 37 out of 45. Okay. Hey, there we go. Now I can see. Okay, so you are mechanical. You are not demonic. I have disabled this ranged, but he has abilities he can probably still use. Uh, stomp. Grab. Which will then kill the knight after they're grabbed. to afflictions. Immune to most of them, but not to disabled ranged, so that's something we can do. Auto abilities. When hit, he will become enraged. Focus on destroying his attacker. When hit with a melee attack, he'll use titanic stomp. So he automatically stomps on anybody who attacks him in close combat. That's not great. Laser destructor, blast area, 8 damage. Stubber, blast area, 4 damage. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we might want to lead him to stuff and then blow things up in his face, but uh, I don't know about his armor and how that's going to work. Standing ready. So I want this. My blade is yours. I am here to serve. Oh, I should have swapped out. I've got extractor servo skull. I really don't need an extractor servo skull in this situation. Uh, I mean, I could send Horn forward, <laughs> get shot off, trigger the support fire. I mean, it's really nutty. I really don't want to get close to this thing, honestly. Yeah, there's a lot of things I can blow up. It's got to be that it wants me to kind of lead him around and then blow stuff up as he comes next to it. But I've got a turn here where he can't really do much. So I'm going to see what I can do with just sort of my normal attacks and stuff. One shot, moves to grab the shooter. Okay, well that's really not good. Alright, never mind then. Okay, so what we want to do then for sure is target stuff around him. Zabaz. I don't know if I have the range. I don't. I'd like to blow that tank up next to him. I am here to serve. All right, let's give additional actions to Zabez here. Strike forth, brother. So support fire is not me. really going to do me any good here. Horn, we're just going to run away. <laughs> so Zabez, I want you to get close enough. Advantage. Wait, didn't I just give you additional actions? What did you just do? What is your will? Standing ready. Your command. I don't. At your service. Did I actually Raise get the additional the actions? Your sure. orders. All right, let's see. If I hit this, is it going to hit you? Yes, it is going to hit you slightly. <laughs> Hey, I didn't hit you. Okay, I've got one action left. Uh, I mean, I could shoot that. Which is also going to hit you. Um... I don't know if I should be pushing it like my luck that much at this point I'm awfully close to him I really don't want him to grab me because that's going to be instant death so I think we want to back off here ok 
shell mark. Shoot that. That might cause him to surge forward, though. Yeah, that's definitely... Okay, just threw me down. Uh, yeah, kind of a problem. So I can't really stab him. That's going to be an issue. So we kind of want to lure him towards stuff that I can blow up. There's a whole room in here full of stuff. We might want to head towards this. As ordered. But I don't like I know he's got a turn here. Ow. I'm lucky I didn't hit that tank and blow it up. He's just booting us around. Okay, he just blew that up himself. He didn't have to do anything. Box communication re-established, but warp interference remains. Teleportation is impossible. Then we must watch and provide what little support we can. Okay, if I hit this... It's odd that it switched to an overhead. Looks like I can skip hitting my own person, so let's do that. Yeah, he got some of his shields back. Ion shielding is formidable. However, its power regulation is inconsistent. Some side effect of the Bloom's corruption? Unknown. Commander, your firepower may be sufficient to overwhelm its generator. The Desecrator's power systems are overwhelmed. This is your chance, brothers. Find some vulnerability and strike. Destructive force. Substantial. Ektar. Yes, if we can lure the beast near to one of those cranes, we might tip the odds in our favor. Okay, so I have, like, the rest of this turn to do stuff. And maybe that's it. Or I might only get one attack off. Uh, is it cranes? Is there another one somewhere? Okay, there's one way back over there. And there's one over there. So we could lure him over the one here. That one's not too far away. We could try to lure to that one. Uh, in the meantime... My blade is ever ready. Do come on. Don't have me. a lot. Iolanthus is kind of my best for doing crits. Everyone else is just sort of like straight damage, kind of. So I could run down and try to smack him and get a crit on him and see what happens. I think that's what I'm going to do just to see if I can actually crit. If I warp charge, yeah, the bleed isn't going to matter. Let's go for it and see. Okay, what can we do? Not a lot. Uh, increases crit vulnerability. Uh, disable ranged weapon for a couple more turns. Uh, we can keep doing that with our um, vortex. Hobbled slows him down. Guess we'll do the crit vulner. Well, maybe I should just keep the ranged weapons down. We'll do this. Yeah, and he's right back up. I thought I'd be able to like actually do some damage to like a uh, generator or something. Okay, we want to get away. So we're gonna head that way. What is your will? And I do have the option to do some teleports. I 
go ahead and heal up Zabez. Get rid of the hobble that way as well. Gratitude. And we might do it to Kalmar as well. Okay, what I might do I am with you. Try to lure him this way. Moves to grab the shooter. I don't know if we're close enough that he can make it. I'm gonna try and see what happens here. If he grabs Zabez, that's a bit more Not close enough. Yeah, we just want to move away. Yes, come on. Back this direction. Okay. Halma. Not in a great position. I could teleport and then try to shoot. Try to lure him back this direction. We can also just kind of freely vortex, it seems like. Because he didn't respond before to the vortex. Warp charging it doesn't increase damage, does it? No. Let's just do the damage. Okay. That's not really what I expected. Um, we got him stunned. So does that mean he's not going to react if I shoot him? I don't Four think so. Times. Let's find out. Let's ah! fire off to... Okay, grab Kelmar again. Oh, hammered me down. Yeah, he didn't like that very much. Okay, I'm gonna teleport away. <laughs> Should be able to smite him, right? He'll move towards us, but we're far enough away that should be right. He actually didn't move. So maybe his, he already did it this turn? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so we need to get away. He teleports. In an instant! Hoping. Yeah, I probably should be careful about range. It'd be nice if I could get shots anyway. Yeah, we're still in range. So I can hit him for a little tiny bit. Disrupt shot? No, it doesn't make any difference. He's not doing anything. Let's see if he responds to this one. Yeah, I mean, I can shoot him again. I don't think he can do anything. Um, I'll do more damage now. Yeah, let's do it. His shields are down. I'm hoping he can't make it. Let's just move it hard out of the way and blew some stuff up as well. I strike true. Shields up. Shields went back all the way up. None may stay our run. Kicking us all over the place.
Don't, don't blow it up. Okay, I can get somebody over there to hit him, for sure, with that. So what I'm gonna do, if I can, get a teleport up here. Hit him with the crane. On my way. That's got it, Dominus. The knight's structural integrity is unaffected. What? However, the falling shoulder plate has exposed vulnerable mechanical systems. We must focus our efforts there. I know, I've actually damaged him already. Uh, okay, so... It might be setting it up to, like, you have to do a certain number of cranes or something, or maybe you don't have to, but that's sort of the intended way to finish this off. Uh, so another crane back there. This is, like, as far back as I can zoom, so it's kind of hard to see. So that's kind of where we probably want to go next. Your command? So I think we go for another crit. Well, I've got him down, except I can't reach him, because I'm hobbled. Your well, orders? I can do something about that. I am here to serve. Yes, Commander. I'm in range with Zabez. We'll do it with Zabez. Can't tell. Yeah, I think I'm out of range there. Just not showing on the circle. Yes, Commander. The Emperor lights our path. What is your will? Okay, we need to get rid of that hobbled effect. Gratitude. Your command. Your orders. How many actions does it take to get there? All of them. So it takes everything I've got to hit him. Uh, I'd like to give additional actions, but... Uh, I'm not going to do anywhere near as much damage then. If I give... I don't know if he can grab me up here. Um, there is some more explosive stuff back that way. Yeah, I think we beeline it to the next crane up there. don't have armor in a conventional sense, so Horn going in for a close combat attack isn't that ideal. I don't want him to die, for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I feel like it's not necessarily the best idea. Warp charging it is just bleed, so yeah, whatever. Your end is near. Let's see what I can do with the crew. Uh, armor break, but I don't think that matters, right? Unless it is counting his shields as armor, in which case it would help me a little bit. Yeah, sure. I'm sure it will be different this time. Okay, I let this got an action back, so I think we want to just leave. Yes. And again, I can hit him with the warp surge, or the vortex of doom. Um, I could keep the Warp Surge under control as well, because I'm a little concerned about what that's going to do. Oh. 
barn. Are we in range? I am in range. But I could also move up and blow that, which would probably hit him. Doing three damage. But I do get the support fire. Yeah, yeah let's do that. See if we can lure him this direction a little bit. Shields down. Stunned. So. I could go in for a drill hit. But he's not organic, so don't hit many bonuses. Um, I could get closer to do more damage and take a shot. Not sure it's the brightest idea I've had, but uh, it's something. Cybolt is going to do quite a bit more. Let's do it. Get the sword fire. There. It would have been unseemly to have defeated you half blind. <laughs> yeah, he likes picking us up and throwing us around. Okay. Still have two turns where he's got no weapons. I've got three actions here. Zabez. And I've got one action here with Zabez. He's got no shields at the moment. No, I've got no ammo. Well, that's really unfortunate. I guess I'll have to reload. I feel cheated. Alright, so we just have Kalmar. And that's it. So the warp surge is free. I mean, the vortex. I keep saying warp surge. The vortex is free. This doesn't increase damage. So we'll just do the basic version. Looks like I can just run up and hit him and kill him. So <laughs> I kind of feel like we shouldn't let that go to waste. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Like it's saying that's a kill. So. Oh, is it the veil is lifting. It is done. Operational control restored. This is an impressive victory. The halls of Titan will echo with the deed of those brothers who bested a Chaos Knight single-handed. Alright. Yeah, that was uh, interesting, for sure. I think that could have been really hard early on if that was like your first Reaper you came across. But maybe they'd be weaker at that point? I don't know. Maybe the Reapers are tougher now that you run into? I think you just have to be more careful about running around and letting him chase you into explosive stuff that would do damage to him, and then just hitting him when he's down. He didn't actually grab and then try to crush anybody to death either. He just kind of picked us up and threw us down, which was fine. So I'm hoping I have a chance to like save it before it throws me into something else. Might just load another cutscene and throw us into, like, the next Reaper, and then a cutscene and then throw us into uh, the final boss. I don't know. Okay, we got some seeds. Not that it matters. We got nothing. Okay, six days for Kalmar. 
uh, eight days for Zabas. That actually could be really bad as we advance through this, depending on how much time. Save your progress. Update. Before we proceed, I'm filling your current progress in our logs. You may save your game now if you wish. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to save the game now. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope that's saved. Just check. Yeah. Okay, with the way this is organized, I might actually stop here and we'll come back, because that was taken out of Reaper. So I kind of feel like it might be like next Reaper and then next final boss, like just back to back to back. So I'm hoping um, that we can just come back in and continue from here, although I'm worried about the amount of time people are going to be out on missions uh, hurt. So we'll see how that goes, because this was sort of like I had my anti-demon squad, and that guy didn't even count as a demon. So we can send people out injured. That is something we can do, and if we have enough healing, it's probably okay. But for now, I think that's going to do it, so just a really quick one today. Uh, next time we'll come back and see how this progresses, so we'll sort of break it up that way. It seems to kind of make sense to me. So this has been more Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.